Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles here, just bringing you another quick video, just taking a closer look at another Bible, and sometimes Bibles are worth taking a look at twice, and uh, certainly this is the case with this Bible. This has come in to me, and I thought we would take another look at this. This is the King James Study Bible from Thomas Nelson Publishers. Um, we looked at this a good few weeks ago now, if not uh, a couple of months ago, but this one has come in, it's got a slight difference uh, with it, and I just thought I would show it to you, so let's take it to the desk and have a close look. So then guys, let's take a, another look at this, the King James Study Bible from Thomas Nelson Publishers. So this is a Bible we have had a look at before, it's a Bible that I rated uh, really well um, back when we looked at it, so much so that I added it to the website and we can now retail this Bible so we can ship this out to people who are looking for a an attractive, a full-featured and a very extremely good value uh, King James Study Bible. This is also available in the New King James Version. It isn't exactly the same, but it is certainly the full colour um, study Bible, but in the New King James. Now, this is the genuine leather version. This is the only version that I retail. Um, it is very, very nice indeed. We mentioned in our other video when we looked at this Bible that this cover seems to be very similar to the goatskin, if not identical to the goatskin cover found on the Humble Lamb Bible. I liked it on the Humble Lamb Bible, and I like it in this iteration perhaps even more because it's not leather lined like the Humble Lamb. So the, the cover doesn't go super, super floppy, which for me was a slight issue with the, the Humble Lamb. But this is really quite nice. It's got a little bit more um, sort of... Uh, uh, not as much give in the cover because of this uh, this vinyl sort of paste down liner. You've got these attractive spine um, ribs that you get on the side here. Um, those flex back <coughs> when the spine flexes, and also they protect the spine when you are um, when the spine is down and when it's on a desk such as this. It just um, you know creates um, a bit of a barrier between that and the a very nice gold. Uh, gilt um, applied uh, text here on the spine. So it's a really nice Bible from the outside. You've got an ISBN number there if you want to take it down. Um, the head and tail bands are just a plain sort of black and there is two ribbons in this Bible as well. The gilding I found to be very even and very attractive and you will notice as we turn this Bible around that this particular edition is the thumb indexed version so we have these uh, thumb indexes which help you to navigate your way around the bible accordingly now there is two isbn's there's the one for this the thumb indexed and the non thumb indexed which we looked which we looked at in a previous video so as we get into the Bible, we're going to be reminded about all the things that I love about this particular edition. We have a full colour presentation page. We have uh, some information on the inside sheet. This is a very new Bible. We will be able to see from that sheet that this is uh, copyrighted uh, in 2017. So this Bible isn't even two years old yet. They have produced um, a few iterations over the year. Over the years, the Bible first came out in 88, and we've had some iterations since then. But this one is a, a, a total overhaul in many ways. This has got new content, it's full colour now, and I have appreciated the way in which this Bible is presented. It really does... Um, make for an attractive read and if you're going to be spending time in the scriptures there's nothing wrong with having a bible that's attractive uh, both to hold and to feel and to look at and read as well it will really hold your inter interest and engage you as you uh, move through the scriptures and there will be a fantastic how to use this king james study bible which i think is phenomenal it will outline the major study helps that you'll find in this Bible, the doctrinal footnotes, which are represented in these sort of green highlighted sections with a key symbol. And there will also be character studies, both male and female characters presented to us here in these types of boxes. So there's different colours and there's different symbols, just in case you are colour blind, which I think is a nice touch. 
and there'll also be archaeological <coughs> site information. So different places that we read about in the scriptures will be represented in these boxes at the foot uh, footnotes of the Bible. There's also, of course, in-text maps. Uh, which is very useful. Rather than having maps at the end, you will have useful maps that will detail certain movements or journeys um, amongst the the characters that we that you find in the scriptures. There's also this fantastic guide showing you how to use the margins, the references, um, and these marginal translate translation notes as well. There is also an index of all the footnotes. So should you wish to know what all the doctrinal footnotes are at a glance. That is here as well. So if you're wondering if this Bible has anything to say, for example, um, on the rapture, then you will find that here and you'll be able to turn to the relevant uh, passage. There's also a guide on generally how to study the Bible, which I think is a great thing because this Bible would make for a fantastic gift for somebody who is getting serious about studying uh, the scriptures. And there's some other nice little uh, articles in here which I really appreciate. Now, there's an intro to the Old and to the New Testament, and then we're into the books. The, each book will have this nice full-colour photo and also a, um, a book outline that will tell you things about who wrote it, when they wrote it, who they wrote it to, a general outline to the book which breaks the book down. And then you're into the actual um, text of the Scriptures itself. Now, of course... Some books will have a lot more going on than others, and of course Genesis has a lot going on in it. So we only have this small piece of text here on the new on the on the first page of the book, and then we're into our uh, commentary. This is very um, conservative, very safe and sound uh, Christian theology being outlined here, um, and then we have also have a a doctrinal footnote here as well. And as we move through the book, you will see the examples of the commentary of the text. I like these headings which just break the text up and you'll see even more doctrinal notes at the foot of this Bible and there is so much content in this Bible. Here we have the book outline for the book of Exodus and of course there'll be lots of archaeological articles and character studies in Exodus and as we move through the scriptures this edition will just unfold to you more and more content and in unfold to you more and more helps um, and information about the different things that you're reading and hopefully studying about as well. So I really do like this, uh, this Bible. Um, the text that is in this uh, particular edition is really nice. It's a nice large print. I would hazard a guess and say that this is... Um, a 10 point font um, here in this Bible. So it's really nice and readable. Even these center column references are very readable. The paper in this Bible is phenomenal. It's a great um, opaque paper. There are no issues despite the full color uh, content that's in here uh, with shadowing or ghosting there is some ghosting but it is not affecting the text on the other side of the page so even here we can tell that there is a picture on the other side but it's not affecting the readability of this text i'm sure you'll agree as we look at that as an example even the footnotes which are a smaller font i would say that this is still something like an eight an eight point font at least here um, these footnotes are extremely uh, readable so we'll have these articles, these notes, footnotes throughout um, the scriptures and I find them very helpful indeed. I have actually used this Bible um, for a few study sessions just so I could wait, work my way around it and become a little bit more familiar with it and have a more informed opinion. Uh, in the back of the Bible we'll find plenty to help as we navigate using these uh, thumb references. So you'll notice that there is one specifically for the index which has got lots and lots of topics um, and there's prophecy and where it was fulfilled. I think there's a harmony of the Gospels in here, which is very useful. Check out the other video for that. There is a concordance, which is by no means a, a short or a brief concordance. It is full featured. And then there are some larger maps in the back, which are, of course, provided by Zondervan, Thomas Nelson being part of the HarperCollins group as well as Zondervan. So... It really has a lot of content in here. It's fantastic. 
for somebody who is looking to get into studying their Bible and perhaps doesn't have all the other tools to hand, you know, all the concordances, the lexicons, the uh, atlases, all the archaeological books, different things like that. If you're looking for sort of a one-stop shop that will give you the necessary tools to get into Bible study, this is a great place to start. The content that's in here is really nice. It's a great starting point. So it has a full thumbs up from me. Uh, definitely this particular edition. So this will be going on the website uh, as well with the thumb index. Um, the thumb index brings just brings that little bit of ease because it is a large volume. This is a large Bible and the thumb index does help you get around the Bible without sort of, you know, having to um, row these pages um, too much. A word on the size, it is a larger Bible, there's no two ways about that. And just to give you some uh, dimensions, it is uh, nine and a half inches long by six and a half at least wide, and I think it is two inches uh, thick. So it is a large Bible, and also it is quite heavy. It's This Bible is about 1.8 kilograms or about four pounds, so that's just something to be aware of. In terms of comparison, here, for example, is a Cambridge Concord reference, um, this Bible being a really nice, slim reference Bible, and you can see that it's dwarfed both in terms of its size and weight um, by the uh, King James Study Bible. Just as another side note as well, I do have its smaller brother, the Know the Word Study Bible from Thomas Nelson. This also is in genuine leather, but I would compare this leather to more of a, a calfskin leather as opposed to the grainy goatskin that we have here on the King James Study Bible. And you'll notice that this is indeed a smaller brother, a smaller sibling, so it's going to be smaller and less weighty. But if we were just to throw these Bibles open um, at 1 Corinthians 12 in this case, as I've chosen to open it at, you will notice that there is a difference certainly in the content and in the layout that perhaps you just want to weigh up which of these study Bibles is best for you. Obviously you have the full colour features here um, of, the, uh, of the Thomas Nelson and all that it brings uh, to the table. Um, and then in this particular uh, Bible you have less going on on the page. This is a new Bible so the pages are slightly stuck together um, for example but it's still really nice, this Know the Word Study Bible. As a smaller study Bible, that's a little bit more, a um, little less wieldy. It is fantastic. Here you have the more simpler um, book introduction, and then you're straight into uh, the text. Of course, this Bible does still have footnotes and study helps, but there's just a little bit less going on than in this big one. I just thought it would be worth getting those two out side by side just so you could see um, see the difference between uh, the two there. So it is very much a, a case of horses for courses. Here's the, uh, the Cambridge Concord reference in case you're wondering what that would look like open uh, next to it. The Cambridge Concord is very readable, has a, a nice uh, font and typeface in it, a very classical King James Bible. Um, and of course here uh, you have more of a tool Bible that is going to help somebody uh, get studying the Word of God. So that's just a little look, an updated look at this King James Study Bible from Thomas Nelson Publishers. Uh, retails for around uh, £75, so it's on our website at the moment for uh, just under 70 I think, something like that. Fantastic value, and I really recommend you have a, a close look at it. So I hope you found that interesting. That's Mark from Burton Bibles bringing you another Bible review. Hope you're well. God bless, and we'll catch up on another video soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.